I now want to talk to you about an announcement we have around virtual reality. So what makes virtual reality very different than anything we've done before is the fact that the VR headsets have lenses in them. And the reason they have lenses is because in the VR headset there's an LCD screen. Now if you were to hold an LCD screen about two inches from your face, you can't read the lettering. It will appear blurred. So the lens focuses your vision so you can see the lettering clearly, right? You can see the LCD clearly. But the problem with the lens is that it optically distorts the, the background, right? So in this picture, the background here is a tiled pattern, but you can see that through the lens, the pattern is distorted and the distortion increases at the periphery of the lens. So to compensate for this distortion, the GPU actually creates an image that has the reverse distortion. This is the image that the GPU presents to the VR headset. It's got the opposite distortion. So this cancels out the distortion of the lens and what the user sees is a perfect image. But the GPU cannot render an image that looks like this. It actually renders a normal image and after creating this image as a post-processing step, it warps it to look like this. But there's a couple interesting things going on here. If you compare the central portion of both the images, here and here in the green outline, it's actually pretty identical, right? Another way of saying this is that the resolution here and here is about the same. But if you compare the part that's at the periphery in the red box with the one here, you will see that the, the part that's in the warped image is actually a scaled down version. Right? So what we're actually doing is we are dropping pixels because of the warping at the periphery. So we're creating images, uh, pixels that we're not using. And you can kind of see that in the black boundary around the warped image. So these represent pixels that were rendered but not used. And we are using this principle in a new and innovative way to render virtual reality. It's called multi-resolution shading. Let me explain what that means. So say this was the original image. Let's split it up into nine sections. And let's call these sections as viewports, okay? Now, because we know that the central part of the image should have the same resolution after warping, let's keep that the same. But the part that's at the periphery is should can be scaled down. We need not render all the pixels around the periphery because we're not going to use all of them. So this is the image that the GPU will now render, which is to say central part will have high resolution and the periphery will have low resolution. But what's amazing is that Maxwell, our Maxwell GPUs, 980 Ti included, have this feature called multi-projection. And what it is is this, in a single pass of the render, it can create an image which has different resolutions in different parts. So it can create this entire image in one single pass. And what that means is now it's creating fewer pixels than it would otherwise create. Which then means a speed up in performance. Because we are creating fewer pixels, we get a speed up of about between 1.3 and 2x of pixel shader performance, which translates to about 20% to 50% pixels saved or pixels dropped. So these are pixels we are not creating anymore. How much speed up that translates to in the actual game depends from game to game and how pixel heavy it is. But again, this is possible because of the Maxwell architecture and uh, we are going to offer it to game developers who can then decide how much scaling they want to do and that's the speed up they will see in their VR games. That's just one part 
of the Gameworks VR library. We also have SLI support for virtual reality. So that means that we can have, say, a two, two GPU configuration and each GPU is dedicated to each of each, each eyeball. Uh, we also have context priority, which is our version of async time warps. So if, if the head was to say jerk or move suddenly, then uh, uh, the, the latency of the VR would be very reduced. They would not feel latency as they move suddenly. That's what context priority does. There's direct mode where uh, you can use VR headsets in a plug and play configuration in Windows. <coughs> And there's front buffer rendering. So in virtual reality games, we, we render directly into the front buffer. And that's going to reduce latency some more. And that's just one part of the VR solution on GeForce. What we're offering is an end-to-end -end solution. All of this is made possible because the GPU supports multi-projection. We also have some really uh, strong and stable drivers and the reason for that is this for in this year's GDC conference in San Jose virtual reality was the big story all the top game developers were, were showing VR headsets VR games VR content and all these guys bar none be it Unity, Epic, Valve, Crytek, even Oculus they were all showing their their, their <coughs> VR demos on the GeForce platform. 